Let's get back to the energy. Where is the displaced energy going to come from? We take out a dam that generates right. clean hydro. Where is that, is that mean let me, let me, base let me load? Take Mike. this really quick. But clearly, Halloween is upon us because uh, Jim wants you to be afraid, very, very afraid of the future. I and, do. Um, you know, uh, it's often said that the system was an engineering marvel. And, and I think that's very true of the time in the early 20th century. Late 19th century was designed and then built in the early 20th century. It was also an environmental disaster. And we know that now in the, in the 21st century. And we look forward to the 21st century and we realize we have got to change the way we do business. We have to change the way we walk on the face of the earth. And we have to change the way our, um, our cities and counties operate. And, and so we have to rethink it. And so a planning process is key to that. Um, the, the threshold, if we get this, if Prop F passes and a plan is done, we then have to go out and get 60,000 signatures to get it on the ballot, and then the voters have to approve it again. So this message to, this concern about sending the wrong message to Congress is again, um, you know, he just, Jim wants you to be afraid, very, very afraid. The power issue is simple. We, you know, we, it's about a 20% loss of power, according to the best studies that have been out there. Um, the, it's a minuscule amount compared to, I mean, the same amount of power will be delivered to San Francisco. All our hospitals, our schools will get the same amount of power. We, we sell most of the excess power to Turlock and Modesto irrigation districts. So obviously with a 20% loss of power, we would sell less power. Um, but Prop Effrey takes that into consideration and requires that before any changes be made and before the voters get to approve it, we identify wind and solar alternatives. And, and, it's, and an alternative that the city has never even considered but wind and solar don't develop the same kind of consistent base load that, that hydro does, right? So, it, Susan Leo? Yeah, let, let's talk a little bit about that 20%. It's really 40 to 60%. Let me describe it to you very quickly. There is one reservoir which does not provide drinking water. It does provide power. It comes down the, the, the hill through a tunnel, through a pipeline, hits a turbine, produces power. That's about 40% of the power. That would remain if had she was drained. But at the O'Shaughnessy Dam, the water is captured there, goes into a tunnel, goes to Kirkwood Powerhouse. That's about 20% of the power. Then it goes down from Kirkwood, it goes down another tunnel to Moccasin Powerhouse. That's another 20%. At least another 20%. And, and there, so you, you're, you're, you're missing a reservoir. There's a third reservoir that supplies water to that system as well. No, there's only, there's, there's the three powerhouses. And there's three um, reservoirs. Uh, there is one powerhouse that there's only one powerhouse that is not initially fed by capturing water at the O'Shaughnessy Dam. And that's the point. So you're losing anywhere from 40 to 60% of your power. And that is the home powerhouse, which is not fed by O'Shaughnessy Dam. So it's, you, you can't just, it, the water just doesn't go into a, a powerhouse. It has to go through waters and tunnels and it's captured where it's captured at the dam, that's where it goes to the dam. I think the controller's statement on the, the San Francisco ballot says, what is it, about $41 million in lost revenue because of this electricity, Spreck Rose Grants? Yeah, and that's how you pay for solar. But Instead, that's based that's on her assumption that it's 40 to 60% of the power. What we, what we need to Spreck understand, we don't, we don't, this, this is an oral presentation without diagrams and so forth, uh, but one key element of the solution is probably, we don't know the final solution, but it's probably to implement a proposal that San Francisco themselves presented a couple decades ago, and that's to put a pipeline from home powerhouse that Susan mentioned at the bottom of the, uh, below the Cherry Reservoir, and pipe that water over through the Moccasin powerhouse. And how that's, much would that cost? Uh, well, let's find out. Let's pass Prop F and well, find out. Well, if, you, if, if, you've, if you'd read our, our report, you'd see that we escalated the cost uh, for time that San Francisco proposed in, uh, I believe it was the, the late 80s, or it, may, it was the early 80s. Anyway, so, so again, uh, we can't agree here on the basic facts. Um, let's pass Prop F, let's sit down in a room with some engineers and talk about it. These people, I'm sure, some of them, half of them would probably like to come back to a more technical discussion, but it can be done at far lower cost than, than what our opponents are claiming.